Hang on, one second. One, one second. Hi, sorry I'm late. Cassie J. I'm a features editor at the paper. We spoke on the phone earlier. It's, um, Laura Quinn. Robin, go ahead. I got front page. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Whew. We should be careful what we wish for. <laughs> Having it all at 25 cannot be biologically correct. So, thank you for contacting us. As you know, we're running a series of features called Women Who Led, all about the everyday women who, back in the late 50s, the early 60s, started breaking the boundaries, really inventing the modern woman. A lot of people who turned up in our research turned out to be dead, but you're... S alive, so that's great. I, um, I need to paint a picture. You're hired by the London Diamond Corporation. It's number one in the world, but it's the 50s. It's a fiercely male-dominated environment. But you take on the men, you battle your way up and become a manager. Now, that's not going to impress anyone these days, but you were the only female manager that had ever existed in that company, and I want to know your story. You know, I haven't set foot in this city as a free woman in over 40 years. Really? It's changed. It's an exceptional piece, isn't it? 168 carats, 58 facets. Very rare. I stole it from London Diamond. Good deal took place at London Diamond that may not be in your notes. <laughs> 